Hey beauties, good afternoon to you. So, Lord, I was feeling so sleepy last evening. I was, you know, in and out watching the news, but I got to watch it, you know, in a, in a fairly coherent way, meaning I wasn't so sleepy. And I was listening to um, former KCC uh, man there, Desmond McKenzie. And he was really, I don't want to say the word belly aching, because when people use it, they use it in such a very condescending way. Um, but he really was vociferous as it relates to you know homeless people and people are not taking and some of the family members who are left in some of these um with whether on the streets in the hospitals and so on not making any excuse for these people who family members don't care about and leave them but one thing i know in life you know by the one thing if you don't even believe in the bible believe and know that one thing is true one second beauty is Yes, beautiful people, one thing is, it is true. Whatever seed you sow, you reap. You see, I've heard of people, I remember there was a man that was homeless. You know, he looked really shoddy, shabby, and, uh, you know, I heard that he treated his children really badly. You know, some people, for example, they may be um, deportees, they were foreigners, and when the people in Jamaica would call them for help, I'm not saying that when people go to foreign, you must stress them out at big and and so on but maybe they were in a good position and they could have assisted and pride took them over they felt that they were just above yeah it's a reality and never looked on the ones who really were you know just wanted some help because in in a lot of cases now people may not really feel good begging it's just that they just want some a propeller they want some help to get to a point so they can help somebody else so that's all they need just help because no wealthy person that you see in this life got there by him or herself i'm telling you that somebody if it's even a cockroach or an ant or a bug somebody had to help them don't make any ghosts with it when they talk about self-made mirror not true somebody helped them even if they read books is somebody book um guided them somebody must have said something them gave them an it but they, they are nobody's a self-made this or self-made that somebody helped you i'm telling you you didn't just sit down there and with nobody or nothing around you no reading no nothing right and they forget the family member and the family members don't assist them you do have cases where people are just ungrateful so no matter how good you do for them you reach a heart and a tough time they just don't remember you but those are not generally the majority i'm talking about not in terms of people being ungrateful i'm talking about one thing i know in life it's it's just it's something that we push out there and god brings it back to us you do good it comes back to you at the opportune time you do bad bad comes to you at an inopportune time you know <laughs> right so um so that is that is a kind of reassurance that i've had now as it relates to mr mckenzie and he was very upset you know that people don't care and i agree with him where that is concerned you know that people really and truly we're living in a different age where people the bible said it still people are just lovers of themselves they don't really care you know they're glad it's not them they're glad it's you in a sense and not them um, but my my encouragement to him is that um, don't just, you know, speak vociferously on it. You know, do your part and help. You know, give back. If you're giving back, give back even more. If you can be able to take on two, mentor them, you know. And uh, when I say mentor them, ensure that they go to school. Um, they get a good lunch. Maybe you can take your may not necessarily officially adopt. If it's young people, that is. If it's somebody who you can clean them up and get them the help that they need medically and then just give them a starter start up you probably can do that sir you know that would be my encouragement to you because sometimes we point fingers and so on but the book starts with us when they see you doing that then somebody will come and say i really admire that about you know minister mckenzie i think i'm going to do the same and you take two more persons you help them if they're elderly you, you nurse them back to you know a semblance of health you know, that they can live out their lot, live out their days, sorry, you know, in, in a decent manner, in a wholesome manner, in a caring and loving manner. So, sir, my, my, my encouragement to you is that, you know, you know, you, you state what you have stated and my heart goes out to them. It's really difficult passing homeless people, hungry people on the road. And sometimes you want to help and you cannot help. I know that there is a policy that you know they people don't just get, I, I know that based on the laws of the land people shouldn't just go and give them things like that they should go through a, um maybe there is a 
a company that they have to go through or whatever policy they have to follow, whichever way, but still help. Help is help. Whether you follow a particular channel and so on for decency and order. But, you know, my, my encouragement to you, sir, with the two, over 2,000 people who you said that are homeless or people don't come for them, the family members, don't look for them to come for them because most of them will not, you know. Uh, preaching like Paul won't move them. That's a sad reality. You know, just do your part and see where you can help you and your friends, the other MPs and all of that. Remember, you guys had gotten like 100 and 200 and 300 percent increase. Use the funds. Say, um, Minister Mandir, the opposition man, claimed that he has given away 80 percent. Um, I'm not sure, you know, if, if he's really done that, what he has done. I remember there was one time afterwards where it was showing like, I don't know, so he gave back to some school thing or something of the sort. I don't remember. I don't want to tell any lie on the situation, you know, and he had indicated that he doesn't even need money, that, that money, because yeah, I guess his family already has it. Um, so, you know, you may not be able to or me, to do like him and give back, give back 80%, but it's Christmas now. It's a silly season, you know, as they, I don't know why they keep saying silly season. I don't like it. Not, you know, God, let's take that back, Father God. It's a Christmas season, you know, you can... You know, when you get your salary, the, the increase, just give back even more. Give back to them. Provide for them, you know. Um, carry them to a point where they can, you know, get out. Um, since no, but no family member is coming back for them. You know, you may not be able to help everyone, but you can help some. You know, even a handful or two handfuls. And um, so that they can come back and help others who are there, you know. So it's a snowball effect. You help this one, that one, they help you, and, and, it, and the cycle continues, you know, Mr. McKenzie. Yeah, man, time for you guys to just um to, to look into that. Talk to your other MPs and say, let us do a good deed this Christmas and all of that. You know, there's an MP that I would love for you to talk with, and that's Dr. Nigel Clark, you know, that he can do something grandiose for the public sector workers this Christmas here, you know, as it relates to their salaries. Um that he gives them bonuses and extra money, something, whatever it is, you know, just do something good, be the nice Santa Claus, Santa Claus, um, yeah, man, so, uh, my encouragement to you, you know, Desmond McKenzie, Minister McKenzie, is that you just continue to do good, I know, I see that it, you, you're moved by it, that you have over 2,000 homeless people, and, you know, wherever they're situated, within the hospitals, or on the roads, or even people are abandoning them, their own families, you know, it's it's sometimes, in some cases, it's a travesty of justice. Sometimes justice is actually being served. You know, we don't like to have that real conversation in life. You know, we think that life is hunky-dory and that when you see things happening in the negative, it means that it's something evil. may not be, but it may be recompense for what was done. You know what, if we plant corn, that's what we're going to reap in abundance. If we plant peas, that is what we're going to reap in abundance, be it good or be it bad. You know, and it is something, it's a reality that we all need to come to terms with. I think people are not coming to terms with it, you know. Um, so, but I, I still believe in emitting compassion despite, you know, whatever it is that the person or the people would have done in their past that would cause family members to forget about them and to leave them in the condition. Sometimes the family members don't even know how to handle them. You know, because living with people is not so easy, you know, and sometimes they can be so demanding and controlling and they have their own weird idiosyncrasies that people can't deal with and they just invade in their space. They don't have the space, they don't have the wherewithal. I'm not saying that they should leave it on the people, the taxpayers to take, because it really would be the taxpayers. It's not just the government, it's the taxpayers would have to take care of them. You know, and you remember, we already have the prisoners and so on, you know, so... Mr. McKenzie, my take on it is just you do your part, you know. Um, if you're helping them, help even more. Help even more. Help even more. There are some people who are not even homeless are in their condition want some help right now. And it's out of shame. Them can't reach out to people and say, help me, help me, help me, please. You know, so, <laughs> you know, they may be in a bad position, but there are people out there in a bad situation you know, and they're trying, they're just holding on by a thread. So just, um... Don't be daunted by it too much. Just go ahead. As I said, remember you guys got an increase, man. Just use some of the money and help who you can. Get them out of that condition so they can come back and help others and until it reduces tremendously the number of homeless people or people who are abandoned by families. All right? Yeah, man, guys. 
Follow me on TikTok. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please share this message.